Let's move on to the Nonprofit Executive of the Year category. These individuals have demonstrated vision, innovation, and leadership in advancing the mission of their nonprofit organizations. They have worked tirelessly to create new resources and new opportunities and have helped make our community better. And the winner is Marcy Boucher, President and CEO of Independence First, which helps develop self-sufficiency among people with disabilities by assisting with access to basic needs such as food, health care, and housing. People with disabilities were particularly impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, many of them losing jobs and housing, which left them unable to pay for necessities such as food and utilities. In addition to securing private and federal funding to expand services for Independence First clients, Boucher, forged a partnership with the Milwaukee Health Department to provide a free and accessible COVID-19 vaccination clinic for people with disabilities and mobility concerns. Please welcome Marcy Boucher. Well, I'm very honored to receive this award as uh, I just moved here four years ago from California. And I know you guys are all asking that question, why, why, why? <laughs> We have floods, we have earthquakes and fires, but Wisconsin, we have the Dells, we have the Packers, we have Bernie going down the slide, we have fabulous fall colors, and of course, we got the Bucks. So with all that, uh, Wisconsin is so great to live at. We still have a lot of work to do here. We have a lot of inequity that's happening here in Milwaukee. And um, today, I'm very pleased to let everybody know of a brand new partnership that we just have forged with Freydert Hospital. And we'll be actually working in the hospital to help uh, survivors of gunshot wounds that, have violently that were violently acquired and they are paralyzed. And we'll be working with them on the boots on the ground to help them get back into their home, into the community, and that, that they don't have to live in a nursing home for the rest of their lives. Another program that we have is we go in and we do home mod assessments for people who have disabilities, and we provide a report for the insurance companies on how they can make their home accessible to be able to stay inside their homes. We were going through our list and calling back some of our consumers um, last month, and we were saddened to find out that some people are still waiting over a year to get a ramp put into their house. Can you imagine being stuck in your house for a year? The only way you can get out is to call the fire department. And when we found out why, it's because some contractors don't want to go in that area of town. So we have a lot of work to do here, and I want to thank everybody in this room, volunteers, donors, and all the nonprofits that are making Milwaukee a better place to live. Thank you.